All right, my loves, um, I have another soul food for thought for you called Dormant DNA and um, came to me today, uh, just like the other video, that I wanted to, to share what Dormant DNA was and give you guys an idea of how Dormant D DNA is unlocked. So uh, again, I want to send you guys peace, blessings, love and abundance out into the universe. So. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. What is dormant DNA, you might ask? So, dormant DNA are cells that are inactive. Um, basically cells that are sleeping. That's why people say that the collective conscious consciousness is waking up. That's because there were, there were some dormant cells within our, our um, spiritual structure, as well as physical structure and they became conscious they became awake they were unlocked a key was inserted and they were unlocked in the spiritual sense um and what you can do is you can think of it as a computer i like to compare um i like to compare us to a computer because we are a computer uh so think of a computer with locked files so you have these files are encrypted and you have to have the key or a password in order to uh, unlock the DNA or unlock that folder the, the DNA can either be positive DNA or uh, what you would consider to be negative DNA all right and some examples of what could be considered positive DNA will be uh, ancient information so DNA that's been carried on from your your mother your mitochondria DNA you could um, have uh, re-energizing techniques to use um, to use to um, increase your life force energy in order to balance your chakras or transmute unwanted energy. You can have uh, DNA that has natural healing techniques for uh, emotional and or physical trauma healing. And you also can have some type of herbal remedies in your DNA that uh, you can activate that can help you heal your, um, heal your body naturally, all right? Um, now, examples of some negative DNA could be uh, genetically passed on through your DNA, uh, could be alcoholism, drug abuse, uh, cancer, diabetes, overeating, okay, undereating, whatever. So, how is this dormant DNA unlocked or activated within us? Uh, so, I talked about before Dan Winter, he talks about the heart harmonics and how the uh, emotions are the weaver. Um, what that basically means is that our DNA uh, braids itself, it's braided, all right? Which also can kind of look like kundalini, if you think about it, like your, uh, your spine going up the ladder, Jacob's ladder. That's really like your DNA looks like a ladder, okay? So in order to in order to penetrate or unlock a specific DNA, a certain code, because it's all coding, um, certain emotions in your heart have to be, um, it, you have to be experiencing certain emotions in your heart. When you are at the bliss state, which is your true state of being, it is the joy state, it is your oneness state, it is your, you know, essence. When you're at that, that bliss state, your DNA is braiding in a perfect braid, a perfect braid pattern. So it actually looks like you braided the hair, like physical hair. And that is when you are unlocking certain things in your DNA, which are beneficial for the betterment of your soul, of your soul, not just the physical body, but your soul. So if it's beneficial for your soul, it actually inadvertently is actually is, um, beneficial for the physical body. Okay. When you are experiencing depression and sadness and um, any of what we would consider to be a negative emotion, you are ca causing for, or stress, you are causing for your DNA to not follow the perfect braiding pattern. And you start to unlock a dormant cell or, or like a cancerous cell or um, a diabetic cell, cells that cause sickness. That's why a lot of times when people are stressed, they start to become sick. 
that's like a person um like we all we know that you know vaccinations have all kind of disease in it so when you become stressed or you start to focus your thoughts which your heart starts to will or manifest that that particular uh thing that you have been focusing on or thinking about all the time when you are focused stressed and you're thinking about all the negative things or thinking about um all the all the negative things that can go wrong or whatever you actually start to unlock certain cells within in the in the dna structure and that cell could be cancer so then you know you might have already unlocked the cell of cancer or whatever how what happened is the more you stress and harbor on it it starts to spread it so then you go to the doctor and the doctor says oh you have cancer because you've unlocked that cancerous cell but then when you start to focus more on that cancer that the doctor said you had you start to make it spread because now you have put your thought and your will the emotions the heart weaver you started to put that focus on it so now it starts to spread throughout your body and you start to actually start to feel the symptoms that come from that dis-ease okay and um what else did I want to say? So, anywho, some um, ways that you unlock it. I already got into how the heart harmonics, uh, your emotions, can un unlock those uh, cells. Also, the things that you ingest, uh, meditation, yoga activities, uh, eating certain foods. So, if you eat sugar, if you eat processed foods, if you eat alkaline foods. So if you're eating sugar or processed foods, you can unlock cancerous cells or diabetes and things like that. If you're eating alkaline foods, you can unlock the ancient information and, and the, uh, uh, the ancestors in your DNA that'll aid you in living a better life. Um, sun gazing, reading, uh, grounding yourself so standing out on the earth and allowing those negative ions to penetrate into your your earth chakra um and uh, yeah so those are just some of the and also reading so when you tap into like when you're living in your higher chakras and you start reading things gaining some knowledge you're actually not gaining the knowledge what you're doing is you're reactivating things so you're start you actually will start to get to the point where you'll have memory recall so you're you're getting into your um the, the the database in your brain you're getting back into that recall and so you're actually going into the library that you have because we all have a library of ancient information so you're tapping into those cells as well you've activated them and you've gained the key to unlock those cells and now you are um gaining or regaining knowledge that you already had so that was just a you know uh like i said food for thought for you guys so you um that can maybe aid you into start starting to do certain things that will help you start to unlock more of the positive dna and go ahead and um lock the uh, negative dna that you don't want to um that you don't want to basically have operating in your in your spiritual nor physical universe all right so i am going to end the video on that note guys i thank you again so much for your support i thank you for watching this video for liking it and for commenting on it as well and sharing some um information um with me and also for following me on my Instagram, Knowledge Butterfly, for uh, liking and following me on my Facebook page, Knowledge Butterfly, which is Empress Rasta. And um, you can find the links at the bottom of this video. Heart you guys, and thank you so much for your support. Peace.